Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I want to begin by thanking everyone who viewed and liked the hydrangea making video that I did. I had no idea that it would be such a popular video and I'm so grateful to all of you who did watch it and all the lovely comments that I did receive. I am really blessed and I was just thrilled over the moon that everyone liked it as much as they did. I do have some ideas for some more flowers, but I did find inspiration, and you never know where your inspiration is going to come from, but this came from a book that I've had for years that I have used in making things and doing crafts and all kinds of different things with my grandkids, and it's a book of fun things to do with your children. Um, so this is a, a little simple thing but I think I've embellished it a little bit more to make it a little bit more, a um, little more high end. And it is a bird bath. The original uh, description in the book was just to take a flower pot and to put a metal trash tin lid on the top upside down and fill it with water. Well, I think we can do a little bit better than that. I looked for, I went to Dollar Tree, of course, for, you know, where we all go to do our great crafts, and I looked for some round flower pots. Well, as I was pulling in, I was watching some ladies take the last of the round pots out. So I tried, look, I got these, and, okay, Google, turn on kitchen. We have these new lights, and after a while, they turn off, so sorry about that. I may do it a few more times during the video. You never know. But I found square ones. I thought, okay, it's not exactly round. And what am I going to do for the bird feeder part or the bird bath part? Well, I came up with a perfect idea. I found this square pie pan. It, will, it fits into the top. We're going to weight it down with some rocks. But we're going to glue it together first. And so you start by inverting one of the pots. And I have not only hot glue, which I'm going to use, and I hope you can all hear me. I had a comment or two that you can't hear me. Just turn your volume up because I turned my volume all the way up and I could hear, ooh, this is a new glue gun. I'm not very good with it. It's kind of mushy. Now this is good, but it's going to be outside. So I also got some of this Gorilla Glue uh, clear glue. And it's good for plastic, for plastic, glass, all kinds of things. And it's 100% waterproof, permanent bond, holds in just seconds. I know a lot of crafters use the E6000, but a lot of times with the E6000, you have to wait. Well, you do have to wait at least 24 hours for it to dry fully. So I'm going to try this and hope that this gives me the bond that I want. So as easy as that. We take the second pot. I'm going to disappear for a moment. Set it on top and get it centered like that. And um, I need a little paper towel here to wipe up some of this messy poo. I'll take a plastic bag. That's better if you drip like I did. Fortunately, with glue from the glue gun, you can peel it away and it won't look messy. Now another thing you can do is use some nautical rope to seal around here. But I'm going to show you this in as few steps as possible to show you you can make this fun bird feeder quickly. And it's getting hot out so you want those little birdies to have some place to cool off. Now this is kind of light as you can see. One way I thought of to um, secure this and make it a little heavier so it doesn't blow away in a storm is to use landscape rocks. I have several different sizes here and what I'm going to glue do, I'm going to use some hot glue. I'm going to glue them down inside. I'm going to stand up for a minute here and just put a little hot glue to secure your stones to the bottom. This is my new glue gun. I love it. And the, this glue sticks are huge. 
So unlike my small glue gun I used when I made the hydrangeas, I had to keep replacing the had to keep replacing the glue sticks. So this is nice, has nice long thick glue sticks. Just trying to figure out the best way to put this last one in. There we go. So now the now it's much heavier. All you really have to do next is place this square pan inside the top. But another thing I thought I would do to also give this a little weight is to get some of these um, stones from Dollar Tree. And what I'm going to do with them is also take a few of them and glue, glue some in each corner. So this has a little weight to it. But I don't want to put too much so that the little birdies don't have room to take their bath. But it's just to give it a little weight and a little decoration, a little decorative feature. So I'm going to finish that and I'll be right back. So here we are. Here are the rocks in the corners. I think it gives it that nice natural look. And I did secure them with my hot glue, but you can also use the E6000 if you like. I like this clear grip Gorilla Glue. It adheres to everything and it's waterproof and it adheres in, adheres in seconds. So if you're impatient like I am, that might be a good option. So this will go on top, but you know, in the meantime, I thought I got out my nautical rope. Also, one dollar. How long is this? It's eight feet long at Dollar Tree, like I got the rocks. And these rocks are, um, well, they're 32 ounces, so that's quite a few rocks are in there. I did decide to cut a piece of my nautical rope, and I am going to adhere it to the seam. I think it'll be, just make it look a lot nicer. I really have to get better with this. Using this new glue gun. But you can see how nice it looks. It just finishes off that seam and makes it look nice and crisp. Now, another thing you can do and for time's sake, I'm not going to do it right now, but um, you can spray paint it. And the spray paint that I got is this Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch 2X Ultra Cover Paint and Primer. Also bonds to plastic, which is a nice thing to do when you're doing a lot of these projects that use plastic um, containers. It adheres to glass. It adheres to so many surfaces. And that's ideal for crafters. So you see, this is coming along nicely. Just remember, move all those, remove all those little strings that you get from your glue gun. But it takes no time at all to adhere this, and you cover up that seam. That was hot. I'm back here. Please be careful with your glue gun. Don't burn yourself like I just did. Um, this glue is exceptionally hot. You want to be careful with it. But I think this gives it a nice finish. You can just remove all the little um, strings that you get from your glue gun. And there you have it. Now the next thing we have to do is put in our pot, our pan. And so the last thing we do, well now second to last thing, is take our little pie pan, our cake plate, set it on top, and there we have it. So now we're going to fill this up and put it out in the front yard and see if the little birdies like it.
Now, as I mentioned, I have a new glue gun. This glue gun is called AdTech Craft and DIY High Temp. It is very hot. It is Underwriter Laboratory approved, tested and approved, which is very important. Um, it is very, very hot. So I really caution you to be very careful. Here's the glue stick, much bigger than that tiny little thing I've been using. Here's actually one of the glue sticks. They're called crystal clear glue sticks in the full size. It fits all full size glue guns. I also got, these are also AdTech. I got these at Target. Um, I got a big bag of them, a big bag of 24. And so um, they fell out of the bag. But anyway, here they are. And uh, also, I will link below the Gorilla Glue Grip. What's it called? Clear Grip Glue information for you, as well as the paint. Now, this I got, I got this at Walmart, I believe. And I'm also using, for my, to cut the rope, I use these utility scissors. They're Betty Crocker scissors from Dollar Tree. And the rest of the products came from Dollar Tree, except for the paper rocks, the, uh, landscape rocks. We got those uh, from a friend, but I have another idea to use those. So here's our beautiful little feeder. We're going to pour some water in. And you'll notice that we put rocks around the bottom that will give it even more weight. Fill it up a little more. I think that's good. We don't want them to drown. <laughs> So there we have it, a cute little bird feeder. I think a little later on I'm going to spray paint it for the final product. But I think this makes a great little project, something you can do with the kids, something you can do with your grandkids, which is something to do on your own. But that's it. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoy this project. And next time we'll be making our special wreath from all Dollar Tree products. So join us again, won't you?